What's up everybody, Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net, and behind me you'll see another beautiful Lincoln Town car I'm offering this week, folks. feel like it's been a while, and it kind of has had some medical issues, and I'll tell you all about that in the video here uh, on my absence and what happened and whatnot. Anyways, uh, I do appreciate all the people reaching out to me, asking where I've been, and uh, on my Facebook, I did a few updates. Anyways, I'm going to show you this beautiful Lincoln Town car, ice blue metallic, white half top, beautiful 46,000 mile example very excited to show you this one tell you all the stuff that I did to this to push this one over the edge as far as gingerbread and just beautiful ness 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 <laughs> anyways let's get into the video here gonna do a walk around show you all around this car in and out take it for a test drive tell you all about it in this video appreciate everybody for watching let's get into the town car And here she is, a beautiful 2005 Lincoln Town Car Signature Limited. This is a 46,000 mile example uh, that really just checks the boxes for me. You know me, I like the gingerbread, I like the extras, the chrome trim, the tops. And this color combination with a white half top just really knocks it out of the park for me. So when I bought this car, the car kind of looked like this. You could tell somebody tried to dress this car up when it was new. Basically, when I got this car in, obviously it was baby blue. It had the white half top on it, but that was it. It did not have these chrome wheels. It did not have white walls. It did not have the chrome rocker panels that you see on the lower doors. Didn't have the pillar trim. It didn't have the pinstripe. Didn't even have the wheel arches. Now, I know some people don't like that stuff. Some people like me love that stuff. Um, and I know I'm not a minority when it comes to liking all that extra trim and, you know, good looks. So when this car came in, it had, it needed the Anthony touch. It needed the specialty motor cars, you know, package, we'll say. And I think this car came out phenomenal. I wish I could go back in time and do this to every town car, um, you know, but unfortunately, you know, getting tops for these cars long since discontinued from ENG Classics, the uh, shell top. So I was lucky enough that somebody took the initiative when this car was new to put the, the top on it. And I just had to do a few little things extra. So like I said, this car didn't even have these wheels on it. It had the regular alloy wheels. Uh, I put these beautiful chrome wheels on this car. Beautiful set of chrome wheels uh, that I sourced from down south. Wrapped them in four brand new white wall tires. It had black wall tires on it when I got it. Um, the wheel arches. Again, I know people love it or hate it, but I think the car just looks phenomenal with it. Uh, along with the lower rocker paneling, you can see on the bottom of the doors here. Um, and then the pillar post trim, and then I also pinstripe the car. Uh, so just those few little added touches really set this car off, really push it over the edge. It was a pretty well-equipped uh, Signature Limited when the car came in, like I said, had a moonroof, it's got heated leather seats, uh, has a rear parking assist. Uh, I believe it also has, yeah, wood steering wheel. You know, so it was a really nice optioned car and nicely trimmed with the white top. You can see it's got the stainless band that goes over the top. It does have these built-in opera lights, which do both work. Um, congressional town sedan uh, emblems. It's a beautiful rain on the top. The top is in phenomenal, phenomenal shape. No separation or stretching. This car was definitely garaged and well-loved. But just those few extra touches of the two-tone pinstripe. You know, I like to stripe my cars. The chrome, the bling, you know, really added to this car and really set this thing over. I, I love the color. My father, Papa Bear, loves the color of this car. So we're going to go around the car. I'm going to point out a few little minor blemishes here and there. And it's all small stuff with this car. Uh, like I said, 46,000 miles. Uh, she was very well loved and cared for. Um, but now, it's needing to find its next forever home. And I'm glad... I can be the one to do that. Um, before I get into the little nitty gritty, 
Uh, I'll just give you a quick recap of what happened to me, why I've kind of been absent um, in the last maybe two weeks. I haven't really posted a car for sale. Uh, I had an allergic reaction to uh, a medication that I was prescribed uh, for an illness that I actually didn't even have. So uh, day two of taking said medication, I was rushed to the hospital, breaking out in hives or blisters all over my feet, my hands. I was a mess, absolute mess. And uh, that's never happened to me before. And it was kind of scary because there was a point where I could barely walk on my feet uh, because I kind of lost all feeling and sensation in my feet. Anyways, I was on the mend for about a week, week and a half, finally back at the shop, kind of trying to get caught up here. So I, I don't want to bore you with my issues and woes, but I just wanted to give you a quick update on that. So let's go around the car. I'm gonna point out a few little things, like I said, show you all a little up close uh, and personal details with this Lincoln Town car. I'll start over here in this front corner. Uh, as you can see, like I said, I do a two-tone pinstripe on this car. Real nice, kind of like a charcoal with a silver lower. I think it looks beautiful. Did these chrome wheel arches, beautiful set. I buy from a local vendor here in Massachusetts. Um, it's, I feel the best fitting set I've ever seen and I've bought a lot of these I used to buy them on eBay and stuff like that but this one these sets you can see has a little crease and really fits the car nicely um, headlights are in beautiful shape crystal clear obviously signs of a garage and loved car front bumper cover is in beautiful shape all the chrome trim chrome grill a few little water spots I must have missed uh, but overall very very nice Fascia of the front bumper, nice and clean, no scuffs or scrapes. Again, beautiful crystal clear headlights come up over the hood here. Hood's in beautiful shape. Paint, it's a real high metallic paint. Uh, if you get it in the right light, yeah, look at that. Beautiful. I think they call it ice blue metallic. It's a very, very handsome color. Uh, added with the white top, it just really sets it over. It's almost like a baby blue, you know, but a metallic-y baby blue. Uh, original Ford Carlite windshield. Like I had already said before, factory Ford moonroof, which is kind of a rare find for these cars, especially a Signature Limited. Um, even Ultimates and stuff like that, the top trim ones, it was a line item, so it wasn't part of a package. And I think, like I said in the last Town Car video, I'm pretty sure that was like a 15 hundred dollar um, option brand new white wall tires you know how i do it beautiful chrome wheels we went through this car fully serviced it all new brakes had my pdr service come out and uh, take a few little minor door dings out of it i do know it's got a few little scrapes you can see here on the mirror but doors in beautiful shape door edge nice and clean a little bit of a chip right down there. And I did just install this beautiful real stainless steel chrome rocker panel kit. Like I said pinstripe down both sides. A little bitty chip right there on the bottom edge of that door handle. Uh, door edge looks like there's a little wear spot right there. Uh, again, the white vinyl on this car is in beautiful, beautiful shape nice and bright you can see all the stitching it's kind of a i forget what the name of this grain is this this grain is similar to the grain that they put on like the 93 to 96 fleetwoods and i know it's got a specific name and it's escaping my memory right now uh whereas like most vinyls are like almost like a smooth kind of and you see the grain but you don't see like little see the little square textures there at somebody in the comment, I, comments I know will remind me uh, what the name of this material is. But it's in beautiful shape. White, a baby blue car. Uh, ENG Congressional Town Sedan Package. Just a dealer add-on thing, I know. But, you know, it just really is a real classy setup uh, on this car. We'll come down the quarter here. Real, real nice shape. I do remember... Uh, Little minor, minor, minor guy right there on the bumper. Uh, very, very faint. 
Let me know what you think down in the comments about stuff like this, the two-tone stripe, the wheels, you know. I'll actually post a picture of this car right there in the top left corner of the video. That's how the car came in. So you can see what I did to the car. You can see all that stuff. Uh, I think this lady is willing to walk in the drive by. She's more than welcome to. Um, I think the added changes really brings out the beauty of this car. The top of the deck lid it does have a little bit of a scratch right there. You can see one, two. Almost looks like maybe the trunk lid was opened up um, and kind of scraped something or something was maybe dragged over the trunk lid. Just right here on this edge, a little spot there, and then a little scrape there as well. Uh, I did pinstripe the back of the deck lid. Those are, I don't know, this car I think needed it. I don't do it often on the town cars, but I think it looks good as well. Um, back in the day, you used to be able to get an aftermarket chrome bezel to put around the taillights on these cars. And I really wish they were still available today, but obviously demand, just like the tops, long gone demand, so they don't make them anymore. But it was a, it was a really nice bezel that really kind of gave it that little extra touch. Um, I would love to have known and bought a million of those. I would have put them on almost every town car. Little scuff and scrape right there. A couple little marks on the bumper there. A few scrapes and scratches up on this top uh, surface here. You can see a little bit right there, right there. A little bit in the middle there as well. Um, I didn't get too abrasive on trying to wet sand and buff stuff out of the bumper. Um, you know, it's kind of minor. Again, if you get really up on top of it, you can notice it, but you know, overall, you don't really see stuff like that. Corner of the bumper here is in nice shape. I do remember a little itty bitty guy right there. Again, beautiful white top on this car. Few little minor guys run right there. There was also a rub mark that I touched up right here. Um, when I got the car in, this gas cap was kind of out of alignment. I think somebody might have accidentally bent it when it was open, and for a little while it rubbed. Um, and it rubbed kind of a clear coat there, uh, so I touched that up. All the stainless on the top, the trim is in nice shape. I like how they kind of covered this you don't see very often how they covered the um this pillar on the door usually these tops i just got a 2011 town car in with a, a half top that i'm gonna have to replace but it, it doesn't cover this so this was just a unique package they usually go around the outside but having this here is kind of unique and it's a little different the one that i got doesn't have the solid stainless band almost like a tiara or something like a uh, you know, I think they call them on the old hearses like a tiara band uh, when they had that chrome strip going across the top. Uh, most of them have two individual, you know, more narrower trim bits that go down and then the opera light is mounted in the middle. I like this setup here with the band that goes across the top. Uh, I just think that's a real, real, real good looking setup. Anyways, back to this side of the car. Uh, wheels, like I said, beautiful chrome Lincoln Town Car wheels, brand new white wall tires. Uh, just a few little minor guys here, here. A few little minor chips and kind of scuffs right on the corner of the, on the edge of the mirror there. Uh, I did put this two piece pillar set on here. Uh, obviously, all the other pillars are covered, but just that little added bit of chrome. Again, you know how I love them. Chrome them up. Uh, this was a Pennsylvania car, real clean Pennsylvania car. I'll include at the end of the video um, a little a peek I took of it when I was up on the lift. See a little bit of a light scratch right there as well. Get out of it. Let's see it there. Two tone stripe wheel, tire, 
that is it. That's that's my beautiful baby blue Lincoln Town Car. I think uh, the lyrics when Billy Joel's song is uh, Baby Blue Continental, but we'll go. This is close enough. This is a beautiful baby blue Lincoln Town Car. All right, let's take a look on the inside of this one now. All right, now it's time to dive on in. Show you the beautiful interior of this Lincoln Town car. 46,000 miles. It's like a light gray color. Um, maybe a graphite. Uh, I forget what Ford called this light gray. I don't get a lot of town cars with the light gray. Most of them come with the parchment leather. Um, but we'll show you all throughout this one. Inside the door jams, like always, very clean. Kind of a common spot. I see these uh, Lincoln sill plates get a little bit of corrosion. It's an aluminum plate there, uh, but very clean. Otherwise, throughout all the door gaskets, weather stripping, uh, door panels are in nice shape. Looks like a minor uh, scratch there, and there's some other minor scratches up on the top here from the fingernails. Uh, but the pull handle's in nice shape. All the wood trimming there. Has a little pocket to hide all your things. Uh, inside there, I don't know if it's kind of see it, but there is a spot. It looks like. Where are you? I can't get it to. Yeah. It looks like old fingernail polish, like somebody might have had maybe a bottle of fingernail polish in there and it might have leaked out and then it dried up. I tried chipping it out, but it's kind of a tough spot to get in there and you really don't actually notice it too bad. Uh, so uh, I kind of left it at that after I made an attempt to get it out. Uh, beautiful leather wrapped wheel, wood grain wheel, uh, which is a nice, nice thing with these town cars not all these town cars came with them the upper trim the signature limiteds you know the base signatures and executives didn't come with the wood wheel uh, I do like that uh, on any car uh, leather is in real nice shape nice and soft and supple uh, it does have some um, you know some I guess leather wear marks on the edge here but real clean throughout even the center console here is in nice shape. It flips up both ways, and then you have this guy who flips out. The cup holders, the carpeting shows well. Back door here. And inside the gym, it's clean. I think I pointed out on one of my last town cars, the gold or light French silk designer, um, how I never see the tops with that little felt. The car had little felt spots over these screws. This is normally what you see. You see like a flat washer uh, with the screw holding the trim on. Uh, I don't know if you all remember that, but I know I pointed that out on the other one. And that was kind of strange to see. I've never seen it before. Ashtrays nice and clean. Again, all the poles, real nice shape. Back seat, obviously a 46,000 mile car. Not a lot of back seat passengers uh, in this car, but uh, down here, it's kind of hard to see. I mean, I cleaned it, it cleaned really well, but there's very minor kind of discoloration. You kind of see it right there. Um, there was some type of stain there that my extractor got. I would say 90% of it out. Um, and you really, again, can't notice it too much because the rear seat, or the, the back of the front seat, uh, kind of covers over it. And then with the floor mat in there, you really wouldn't see it. Back seat leather is in beautiful shape. The Lincoln Star embroidered up on the top of the seat backs. And this back seat looks like really nobody's ever sat in it. I don't want to say that because I know somebody sat in it. I heck, I've sat in it. But um, very, very clean back there. Go around over here. Passenger side. Yeah, 
door panel, nice and clean. Again, pull straps. Real nice. Seat back, seat back pockets, all nice shape. It does have rear center armrest and cup holder. Again, nice soft, soft leather throughout. Carpeting. And this thing had a little fuzz ball. Real clean, even up in front here. Cubby there. All the pull straps. I know I say that all the time in all these cars, but um, it is not uh, uncommon to see. You know, these things start to get wear and tear and actually loosen up, and the leather or the vinyl starts cracking off of them. Uh, you know, characteristic of a low mileage car, you don't really see that, so. A little spot here where you can see this is like a scratch in the leather here I'm assuming from somebody you know coming over with the seatbelt it's not torn it's just the color is kind of scratched looks pretty fresh as well uh, leather beautiful beautiful shape over here Carpeting. these cars do have lumbar support as well a lot of people don't know that those buttons are there Carpeting throughout the front here is a nice shape Few little small spots of corrosion here on this sill plate as well. Again, nothing too too crazy. Headliner, beautiful shape. It has a factory moonroof. Show you all the buttons and switches. Uh, in just a minute here, we'll jump up in the front, uh, and then we'll uh, pop the hood and trunk, and we'll take it for a spin. All right, behind the wheel of the. 2005 Lincoln Town Car. Always like to show you what I got for keys and books. Uh, in this case, I have two original Lincoln keys, two original Ford remotes, and then two aftermarket uh, Automate remote start uh, remotes. This car does have a remote start system uh, previously installed. We'll start her up here. some air going because it is humid out i have been dodging rain clouds i wanted to have this car in pictures two days ago just like the eldorado a few weeks ago it seems like we've been having such shitty weather here in new england i feel like i live in florida or seattle where it like rains every day uh that's what we've been having so finally got a break of sun got this car out Forty-six thousand three hundred sixty-five miles uh, at this current time and I do have all the books, little pamphlets and stuff like that, along with the owner's manual and the leather bound uh, case. We'll put that back in the glove box there. Uh, dual zone climate control, sound mark. Yeah, not a cloud in the sky. Well, yeah, Mike could no, use there is. Fresh. Sound system, um, all your steering wheel controls. We'll show you that stuff uh, in just a minute. We're gonna pop the hood here and I'm also gonna show you Show you how this remote start works. Pop, whoa, popping open the hood. Uh, my hand slipped off that one. Popping open the hood on this Lincoln Town car. You can see it's very, very clean in this engine bay. Has the warning label for the uh, remote start system. Uh, pretty clean Pennsylvania car. You know, a little bit of corrosion here and there on a few of the chassis components. Nothing really too, too crazy. All above here, looks like it's in nice shape. Did just do a fresh air cowl reseal on this car as well. I do it on basically every town car that comes through. Now I don't know if you can remote start it with the hood open, but essentially I'm pushing and holding the little red button. I don't think you can. Usually these have like a safety that won't allow you to. All right, we'll try it with the hood. Hood close. Lock it. Push and hold. 
There you go. Starts right up. You can see the driver's seat is recalling the memory function. Uh, now we're gonna unlock. I think usually if you push the same button again, it'll shut the car off uh, as well. Usually these are on like a 15, 20, 20 minute timer, um, you know, for the remote start feature. It does have the power opening and closing rear deck lid. Original floor mats to rear floor mats. Front driver's side, front passenger side. Looks like someone stepped on it on me. <laughs> Maybe that was me, I wasn't even paying attention. I've been a little loopy for the last week uh, in recovery mode here. But real clean inside the trunk, all the um, carpeting and whatnot. I'll push that again. Two pushes. just happened there but these things are pretty sensitive when they're coming down if they sense any bit of anything they stop I mean you can also close these uh, manually I know I've shown you that before too it does have the power pull down or the soft close pull down but we'll try this again yeah we're good all right now let's take a first spin we'll bring it back to the shop all right, here we go. Got the ice cube juice maker happening. Uh, happening. Beautiful air conditioning uh, in this car. Automatic door locks. I'm gonna close the sunroof because I know I'm gonna get some wind noise uh, if I have it open. But she's a real blast to drive as well. Uh, just like most of my town cars, went through this one real thoroughly. Uh, similar to all the town cars I get. Like I said, four brand new white wall tires. Also did uh, upper control arms, ball joints on this car, uh, pads and rotors, uh, traffic on the highway. We gotta go this way. Get out this way. Uh, pads and rotors all the way around, ball joints. Um, uh, we also did the rear parking aid module on this car. Those are common on the 03 through 2003 through um, 2006 era town cars. Maybe 03 to 05, I forget. Uh, somewhere either 06-ish, maybe 07. Uh, they redesigned the system so it has a different module. Those don't fail as much as these ones do. But essentially, uh, when these things fail, you put the car in reverse. And up here, it'll say... Um, parking assist disabled um and it won't it won't beep or anything like that but um essentially the module goes bad on these real common uh, and also real expensive but um it's a neat feature to have with these cars and while i can get parts for them uh i do reflection check looking good oh, yeah that looks good oh my god this town car oh yeah <laughs> i I don't know what it is. My dad loves this car. He loves like light blue. He, he's a blue. It's funny. He doesn't have any blue cars, but he loves blue and he loves the color on this car. Uh, if Papa Bear didn't have more cars than he absolutely needed now, uh, this would be a Papa Bear's car for sure. Cause I know he would absolutely love driving this thing around. I think he's got like 15,000 miles on his uh, DTS. So nowhere near needing a replacement on that thing. Uh, one other thing while I got it on my mind here, uh, apparently I owe some people an apology in my videos. Um, the last video that I posted of the 2000, I'm laughing, I shouldn't be laughing because you're going to think I'm not serious, but the last video I posted of the 2003 town car, it was kind of just like a filler video. I actually filmed it before I got sick and kind of just an off the cuff thing because the car came in. And like I said in the video, the car was traded in with all of their elderly parents' stuff in it. And apparently some, well, a lot of people got humor out of it and enjoyed the video. I got a lot of views on it. But there was a small fraction of my folks who apparently took offense to that, that I was maybe making fun of old people. And um, 
you know, I, I had something against old people. I shouldn't be doing that. Well, if you follow me long enough, you know how I am. You know how I treat my father. You know how I take care of my father as far as, you know, spending all the time I can with him, buying him cars because I'm able to do that and at this point in my life because I appreciate all the things that my father has done for me. And, you know, at 70 plus years old, um, you know, as a 34 year old, it feels great to be able to do that because I, I have tremendous respect for my father and for all older people. Uh, so if that came off like I was trying to be, you know, rude or condescending or I don't know, whatever word you want to add to that, um, that's not how it was meant to be. Um, it was more kind of a kind of a sad reality of what I deal with on these cars on a very frequent basis where I buy cars from kids who inherit cars and they don't care about their parents' beloved car or their stuff. Um, and I know the stuff in that car was kind of like irrelevant, you know, um, if they don't need canes anymore, you know, what were they going to do with it? But, you know, obviously that car was their parents' baby and they traded it in and they left all this stuff in it. Um, so I guess that's what I was trying to show or display. I know I really don't have to apologize for that, you know, but I didn't mean any disrespect uh, of that. I, I obviously, like I said, respect my elders. Uh, and I, I, I buy a lot of these cars that way. And, and every car comes in similar. They got umbrellas, they got AAA bumper stickers and stuff like that. It's just whatever. Anyways, rant over there. Back to this town car. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Any questions about this town car, give me a call. 978-930-1004. Uh, check out all the still pictures over on my website, specialtymotorcars.net. Uh, I appreciate again, like I said from the beginning, uh, the people who reached out. Some people knew like, hey, Anthony, what's going on? I haven't heard from you. I haven't seen a video. Um, I appreciate everybody who thought of it, reached out, people online. Uh, you guys are the best glad to be back at it uh, kind of scrambling to pick up the pieces here because when I'm not at the shop nobody's at the shop my dad doesn't really go up by himself and I don't blame him. like you know what's what's he gonna do there all by himself and I, I wouldn't want him to either so we were, we were kind of closed for a week and a half or so and um, but we're back at it uh, 4th of July week is coming up we're not going away, so I'm gonna chip away at more cars. We'll spend some time with family, do some things. Uh, but I am, I got a few more cars that I, I really wanna get done. My Chevy conversion van um, is, you know, ready to be detailed. Uh, that's a 37,000 mile 09 Chevy conversion van. I got a Grand Marquis coming up. Um, that DeVille is in service as we speak. Uh, I got more Bromes in. I kind of forget where I left off with updating you guys on stuff that was coming in. Um, but I got stuff coming up and I want to I want to get piling through cars because cars are starting to pile up. I even got another Park Avenue, got a Yukon, three quarter ton Yukon. So stuff is coming in and I'm not getting it out fast enough. Like I said, when I'm not there, nothing's happening really. So uh, keep an eye out for more stuff. Thanks everybody for watching. And as always, much appreciated for all the love. And I almost forgot price of this car. Price of this car is going to be $17,995. Any questions, give me a haul at 978-930-1004. Let me know what you think down in the comments about all the extras I did to this car, whether you love it or hate it. Uh, let me know what you think. I'd, I'd be eagerly willing to hear uh, <laughs> what you guys think. I know some of you like that stuff, some don't. But anyways, thanks everybody for watching. Let's get it back to the shop. We'll put it up in the air and we'll show you a real quick clip of what she looks like underneath. Bottom side of the 2005 Lincoln Town Car. Let's see here some uh, surface rust or corrosion on the stainless steel exhaust. Overall, for a Pennsylvania car, very clean. Floor pans. Frame rails. Did 
Did a fresh oil change, new pads, rotors in the front and rear, four new tires, upper control arms, new ball joints. Any questions, 978-930-1004. Thanks for watching.